Healthy foods will help maintain your health and improve your overall health. But there are many misconceptions regarding foods that are healthy and foods that help you lose weight. Even though there are ways to make your diet as healthy as possible while getting all the nutrients you need, most recommendations from nutritionists and health gurus can be too bland and too boring to follow. And low calorie foods can leave you feeling hungry and unfulfilled between meals, leading to overeating during mealtime and gain more weight as a result of consuming too much of the low calorie foods. Many health experts are not sure what to recommend to their customers who seem not to lose any weight regardless of how strict their diets are and there is a great concern that a lot of people are avoiding nutritious foods that are essential to their health in order to lose weight. It's true that there is a growing concern around obesity and the health crisis in many countries due to medical conditions caused by excess fat and unhealthy eating habits of people. And this is not only in economically advanced countries, but rather a worldwide issue affecting millions of people. And just like there are countries from every corner of the world struggling with a growing population affected by obesity, there are countries with population with very low intake of daily calories per capita and have a majority of thin people. And it's not necessarily because of poverty or unhealthy eating habits. These countries may not have the best health records and are not celebrated for their healthcare provision, but regardless, they seem to have an average healthy population that maintain their weight and don't seem to get bigger even though they consume a good amount of their locally produced food. Here we'll see one African nation's unique diet and stay tuned to the end of the video to see a list of most consumed dishes in this country that seem to burn your fat than adding calories. Ethiopia is one nation that has a great number of slim people with the lowest calorie intake in the world with a daily average of 1,950 per capita. And even though the country has been known in the past for extreme poverty and a devastating famine at some point, the people of this nation have always been known to be slim. Even in urban areas with average living standards and affluent neighborhoods, the calorie intake is consistent due to the unique Ethiopian dishes that are consumed on a daily basis in every household. Ethiopian cuisine is centered on vegetables and spicy meat served on flat, white or brown bread known as injera. And most households in the country will serve a variety of stews and veggies during meals. But injera will always be on the meal table, especially during lunch and dinner. Injera is made of taf, one of the earliest domesticated plants. From the 1st to the 6th century AD, the great African kingdom of Aksu, modern-day Tigray in Ethiopia and Eritrea, traded taf, barley, sunflower, and many more high-altitude plants with Egypt, Eastern Roman Empire, Syria, and other great civilizations of that time, and has since been the most important staple crop in these two countries. Uncooked taf is 9% water, 73% carbohydrate, 13% protein, and 2% fat. In addition to being gluten-free, taf is a rich source of protein, dietary fiber, and contains phosphorus and iron, with the fiber content being higher than most other cereals. Aside from this, the country being very religious follows the fasting prescribed by the Ethiopian Orthodox Church which excludes any kind of animal products including dairy products and eggs during religious fasting periods including certain days of the week. And many Ethiopians abstain from eating certain meats such as pork and shellfish and mostly eat vegetarian and vegan foods. Typical dish consists of injera accompanied by spicy stew, which includes various types of vegetables and legumes such as lentils, as well as beef and lamb stew prepared using traditional ingredients. But a variety of stews and fresh vegetables are what an average family in Ethiopia would eat on most days. This could be due to many reasons. Among them is the religious duty to fast two days a week, Wednesdays and Fridays, by avoiding all meat and dairy products. But a lot of people, and even seasoned nutritionists, confuse this of being unhealthy and try to associate the eating habits with starvation and malnutrition. But the fact is, as long as you don't starve yourself to the point of harming your organs and disrupt the proper functioning of your body, any sort of fasting is good for you. It promotes blood sugar control by reducing insulin resistance, fights inflammation, may aid in cancer prevention and increase effectiveness of chemotherapy, as studies on animals show that alternate day fasting helps block tumor formation and plays a huge role in weight loss by limiting calorie intake and boosting metabolism. Fasting is also found to be more effective than calorie restrictions for weight loss. There are many fasting diets provided for people these days. And even though most of them could be effective if applied properly and consistently, they may be risky and dangerous if followed for too long. Which some people seem to do out of desperation to lose weight. These diets have only been around for a short amount of time with very few studies, compared to thousand years traditions of countries and people. Going back to ancient traditions around food and drinks, alcohol is a huge part of the Ethiopian lifestyle. 
People consume many kinds of traditionally fermented beverages in the country. People enjoy these drinks every day except again during fasting times. This will significantly decrease the intake of alcohol during these fasting periods, which sometimes last up to two months. Giving your body the break it needs to burn body fat properly instead of burning alcohol, postponing other fat burning processes in addition to directly adding high calories to your body. So, cutting back on alcohol or fasting and even refraining from consuming any sort of alcoholic beverages for some time could do wonders to your weight loss. Before we end this video, we'll leave you with five of the most frequented meals among Ethiopians alongside their calorie percentage and nutritious values. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button to be notified for our daily content and thanks for watching.